Today is a celebration of one of our most magnificent birds of prey, the NR, a spectacular species of uplands, but one that unfortunately is doing very, very badly in terms of its conservation status and population in Scotland. It's declined by 9% over the last six years. In the six years up until 2010, it declined by 22%. So we're seeing a bird whose population is in free fall, and that's particularly a problem in the east and south of Scotland. Lots of science has proven that the, the reason the bird is declining the population in such a bad way is because of crime, rats of persecution. Harriers are birds of prey, they eat things, and yes, they do eat red grouse. And that is seen by some woolen managers as being intolerable because obviously what they're wanting to do is produce thousands and thousands and thousands of grouse to be shot from the season that starts on the 12th of August. What needs to happen is that moorland managers have to manage their business taking heed of the natural heritage and not working against it. It has to be part of their business model that they're working with nature and not committing crimes. There ought to be 2,600 pairs of hen harriers in the UK and the latest survey shows that there are about 600. So 2,000 pairs of hen harriers are missing. In my country, in England, there ought to be 330 pairs of hen harriers and this year seven pairs nested and three of them were successful. So that is utterly pathetic. We are trying very hard to raise awareness of all kinds of wildlife issues and the persecution of birds of prey in general is one which we really feel that the government have got to take action on. Hen harriers have particularly suffered as a result of all this and so this current project, Hen Harrier Weekend, um, seeks to raise awareness to bring it to the attention of the government in the hope that governments will do something constructive to help the plight of the hen harrier.